Hello folks. Well I'm just arriving at, uh, at my camp for the night and I've been walking for ages. It's, I've absolutely underestimated the time it was going to take me to get here. Um, no idea why. Complete schoolboy error. It's, it's nearly 8 o'clock at night now and um, I reckon I've got about another hour or so of daylight and I want to get set up. I haven't even eaten anything for hours. I'm starving. I've got to get some wood, get a fire going, get some food on and get myself sorted out. So, panic stations. Is there any other better way to spend your morning? In the woods, a campfire, a cup of coffee and a bacon roll. Living the dream, eh?
if you recall a while back I did a review on the Amok Dremur 3.0 90 degree hammock and super impressed with it. It's an unbelievably good bit of kit. Ever since then I've, I've used it all the time. Now that particular hammock relies on a sleep mat being slid into a pocket to form the rigidity of it and, um, and make the whole thing work. Now I've been using an Xped 9, the long wide 90mm thick. That's just one of the sleep pads that Amok uh, recommended. But unaware to me, since that time, Amok have now developed and manufactured their own purpose-made specific sleep mat for the Dremur. I've come out tonight got a lovely surrounding here this is on the edge of a small lake we've got two trees perfect distance apart it's a lovely sunny day as well it's gonna be a beautiful evening um, so I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna run you through this new sleep mat as a kind of review um, and see what you think as you can see in, in this state the hammocks not a, a lot good to anybody really so that's where the sleep mat comes into into play so this is the Amok sleep mat specifically designed for the Dremur hammock lightweight 850 grams it's the long wide series 90 mil thick R value of 3 which means it will go down to about minus 4 minus 5 something along that region um, it comes with its own stuff sack and it all compresses down and fits into there quite nicely and with it you also get a schnozzle bag or, or pump bag now I like these, the reason I like these over air beds that you have to blow up is because you can introduce moisture, if, especially if you're blowing up using your, your breath you can introduce moisture into the air chambers and that's going to compromise them over a while and they'll fail so this way you simply collect your air and then pump into the, into the sleep mat a much better system and like I say it comes with the, um, with the sleep mat itself now you've got a You've got a one valve that's inflation and deflation and it's a one-way valve so you, you pump in uh, with the schnozzle bag to fill up and you actually depress it with your finger to deflate. So that was about what five six pumps and it's hardly taken any time at all and you reseal it there you are and then when you're done you can put the put the pump bag into the stuff sack and put it in this stuff sack for the amok itself so everything's nice and tidy then now in the head end of this you've got two separate pockets one for a small mat and one for a large mat. Obviously, you know, you put the, the relevant mat into the relevant pocket. Just keep it bent up and it'll go all the way. And the opposite end here, you can see where it's come right through. So you can hold it and just tighten it up at the sides to make sure it's fully down to the end and then back to this end to finish the job off and what you do the flap underneath here it will just spring into nicely and it is actually which is what you'd expect, I suppose, a perfect fit. And so once in, all you do is, is zip it up. There you are. Pull the cover back over at the bottom and pull the 
foot box over now to me the Amok sleep mat is a much better fit than my old X bed and, and I suppose you'd expect that really it's purpose made for the job um, yeah it fits really well I suppose the ultimate test is going to be when I sleep in it tonight see how comfortable it is see if it performs the same as any of the others see if it keeps me warm um, it's going to be a warmish evening probably down to about 10 degrees C so I'm probably not even going to have a sleeping bag I'll just keep straight on here and, and I have a lightweight uh, sleeping bag just thrown over the top of me and hopefully this will stop any of that real three o'clock in the morning ground coldness coming up and it'll keep me warm <coughs> now I've got the hammock in chair mode so I can just sit back and relax look over the lake here uh, the sleep pad has molded correctly it's bent correctly there's no lumps or bumps and um, it's really quite comfortable morning folks I've just checked the time it's nearly 8 o'clock in the morning I don't normally sleep this well at home let alone anywhere else but um, yeah I had a really good night's sleep the um, hammock sleep mat and hammock perfect combination I don't think you can get a better hammock I've got to be honest the sleep mat um, was as comfortable as any of the other I've tried and as warm as any other so I have absolutely no problems in uh, in recommending it um, I think it's probably the best combination to get there's no point in buying one makers a bit of equipment and trying to add another makers to it uh, so yeah if you've got the Dremur this is the sleep mat to get so for now folks I hope you've enjoyed this quick review video um, I'm just gonna sit and enjoy the morning overlooking this lovely lake and uh, I'll catch you on the next video take care bye for now